All right, folks. So in this video, we're going to build this Anun transformer. It's a four to one Anun transformer. And I know some folks right out of the gate are going to be like, what kind of core is that? Why are you using that core? This is a T, it's a toroidal core, 184. So it's 1.84 inches across. It's a powdered iron core and it's a type 40, type 52. My apologies. And uh, we use this on the Cartena Poseidon. I've had a lot of luck with it. And what I wanted to do is kind of build a QRO, QTH type antenna. And so this is the box that I chose. And uh, this is what I put together. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built it. So stay tuned. All right. So here's the box that we're going to use. And I'm going to have a link to this box below if you want to play along. This is a step drill bit. And it's what I use to drill holes in this box. Typically, I'll use a regular drill bit to do a pilot hole, and then if necessary, I'll use this step drill bit. And the first thing I need to do, I guess this will be the bottom, is I need to drill a hole and I need to mount that. And I'm not 100% sure if I want to mount this on the inside or the outside of the box. I think I want to mount it on the inside, and you can see it's deep enough that it shouldn't be a problem doing that. The reason I'm going to mount it on the inside of the box is I want to be able to hook ground uh, ground up to here and that seems like it'll be a little bit easier so i'm going to drill a hole and put that on there and then i'll come back and show you what we came up with and then the other thing we need to do is you don't need to i guess but i want to put this uh, m6 i ring i think is what that's called on the top of the box up here so let me go ahead and do that and uh, we'll come back and see how it turned out all right, I'm a bit of a dummy for a couple of reasons. One is I decided to mount this on the outside and because I can still hook the ground to the bolts. And I don't know why I didn't think of that before. But anyhow, that's in here. And um, you can see it's uh, reasonably straight. Didn't do too bad of a job there. And this bottom piece comes out. And the reason I bought this box is because it does have this removable bottom piece and it has a pretty cool clear top. And so we're going to mount the toroid directly to this, but I'm going to use zip ties and I want to be able to use this perforated board, which means it's got to come out at some point. And because of that, I, I put the uh, eye ring on here, but I didn't tighten it down because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out or not. I might need to remove this. This thing's cranked down pretty good, except for this bolt. You can see the other ones have washers. I left the washer off here because I'm going to take this one out and I'll probably put a longer bolt in because I'm going to use that as my ground post. The other thing I like about this box, I mentioned the clear top, but it has this uh, rubber seal, which makes it waterproof-ish. And um, then it has these screws, and these are actually plastic screws that are keyed. And they go into these holes and tighten up and make it nice and snug. Now, I think my buddy Other Andy is the one who turned me on to these boxes, so uh, I'll have a link to his channel below. And you can check Other Andy out if you want. But the next thing we need to do is we're going to put a vent on here. So let me go get the parts for that, and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And so what I did is I just drilled a hole here for no particular reason uh, other than that's where I wanted it. And you can see that I have a nut on here where I screw the vent in. Now, a couple of things why I'm another big old dummy is, is that I might have to take this out. So I didn't tighten this up all the way, but in order to get it tightened all the way, I need this out. So I might have to get creative as to how I do that. I should be able to figure that one out though. Sometimes I'm reasonably clever. Uh, what I wanted to mention is, is that I use drill bits like this in order to drill pilot holes. And I'm not 100% sure I mentioned that before. And then I use the step drill bit. And that's how I did this particular vent hole that's right here. The other thing I wanted to mention, and I'm not telling you to buy this, but what I am saying is that if you get into building these kind of things, this kind of thing is super duper handy. And it's just an assortment of smaller bolts and washers and nuts. And that is what I use to put this on. And so let's flip back. This is called a V-I-G-R-U-E, 1,080 pieces. I'm not advocating for it. It's just what I have and what I use. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to mention. So here's the vent. And uh, it says something on here. Let's see if I can get it up there so we can see it. I don't know what that is. But anyhow, it's a vent. And uh, I'll have a link to where I picked these up below. They're kind of expensive, though. They're about 10 bucks. And what that'll do is it'll allow moisture to escape this box. Um, in the event that it gets moisture inside of it. All right, I did have to take everything out of the box in order to get this out. And uh, now it's not, there it is, it's coming out. And what I also did is, is I drilled out these three holes here. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I drilled out these three holes here. And the reason I did that is, is that I'm going to mount the core there and I'm going to use zip ties to anchor it down. Now, one of the things is, is I might decide at a later date to replace this core with something else. So I drilled these two outer holes a little bit further out. 
And when I did that, there were some posts that were in here, here and here, just like these. And uh, so they had to go. And I used a Dremel and I just used a grinding stone and just took them out. And so we should be good to go there. I also drilled some holes on each side and they are for these. And this is all uh, quarter 20 stainless steel parts. So quarter 20 stainless steel bolt. I think it's about an inch. Uh, a couple of nuts, some washers, and some, some seagulls over here. And uh, I'll show you how I mount all those. But the next step for us is going to be winding this core. So we're going to wind this core with this magnet wire. And then this is 16-gauge enamel-coated copper solid core wire. And what I do is I use a set of zip ties. Now, I know these are monster size, but that's what I had with an arm's reach. And I'm going to use that to anchor this wire down, and then I'm just going to go ahead and wind it up. So I'm going to do that and come right back. So when I started off, I had two 40-inch pieces of magnet wire, and I left about four inches, which is more than I need of uh, the starting wind. And I just did 12 wraps. And the reason I did 12 wraps is because I had more magnet wire than I needed. I was originally planning on doing 10 on the Cartana Poseidon, we actually do eight, but this is a little bigger and I had a little more space and this is a little beefier wire. So I wanted to go with 10 and uh, here we are. And then I did cut off a couple of pieces uh, and I'll likely use this one as a jumper and you'll see when we do that. But uh, that's the core and I'm holding each end down with these zip ties. Now, what I wanna mention is, is that when you start on the top winding, your last one's gonna end on the bottom right here. And so it's not a big deal. And you could mount this either way. It does not matter. And so we're making what's called an un, un So what I need to do is I need to take these two center wires. When you wrap it, go slow. Make sure that you don't have any crossovers. And I need to join these two wires together. And then the one, this one here will go to the center tap or center conductor on my SO239 connector. Now what I need to do is I need to use my Dremel, which makes it super easy, and I need to strip off some of this coating, this enamel coating here. And so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna wrap it around this one and solder it into place so it'll be close together like that. Um, I'll show you when I'm done that. And I'm also gonna strip these, the ends of these out, because I'm going to need to connect these up to this one's going to go to ground, and then this one is going to go to my uh, element for my antenna. Again, I could mount this upside down. It's the same thing, right? I sent, join these two together. One goes to ground, one goes to element. Very simple design. All right, so what I did is I wrapped and soldered that just like we talked about, and then I attached this to the bottom part of the box, the insert, well, with zip tie. So we're mounted on there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Uh, put this in the box, screw it in, and then I'm going to start sizing everything up. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the almost finished product. I uh, got everything back in here. You can see that our ground comes off of this wire and goes to that lug there. And I have two wires in there, and one of them comes up to here. So this is where you would mount your counterpoise, or if you're going to do an earth ground or something like that. And then the aerial side is here, and it comes up and it connects in. And what I did is I put these quarter 20 bolts in. I put a washer well, then you see the, the ring terminal, then the washer. And then I put two washers on this side and I put another nut and that keeps it in there nice and tight. And then I just have these wing nuts that I can take on and off and switch out my elements should I choose to do that. Here's the vent. It is on there and it uh, is mounted nice and tight. And I was able to mount that on there and then get this board back in. So that was no problem there. And that's really pretty much it. I think that's everything. Um, the last piece we have to do is we have to put the top on, right? And so I mentioned that these were keyed and you just kind of twist them around and they go in there. Watch it not work for me. There we go. Let me get that one out and then I'm just going to do this one. All right, folks, and there's the finished product. Uh, it's got the case on there. It's waterproof. We got our O-ring, we got our mounting lugs, and we got our vent, and we got our SO239 connector. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, post them below, and I'll do my best to respond.